In this week we will start with one of the prediction algorithm called linear regression. Then we will have a demo of a uh, tool called Veka. This is a machine learning tool and we will have a small course project and description about the data. In last weeks we saw what is predictive analytics. Let us look at what is one of the predictive analytics algorithm called linear regression. Let us start with the activity. Assume that uh, you have access to data such as attendance, engagement and performance of the students in a class. So, in a class of 60 you will have a students attendance over the period of time, also the engagement in the class or engagement in the Moodle and the performance in the test. Now, you would like to predict the students performance based on their attendance and uh, engagement in upcoming exam. So, what data you need or how do you predict the students performance in the upcoming exam? Please think about the answer, write down the answer. After completing the writing of answer, you can resume the video to continue. As you saw in a last week, predictive analytics or to predict performance in this particular scenario, we need to identify a historical data. We need to collect historical data that is in our case it is attendance and engagement and performance. From the historical data, we need to compute the correlation between attendance versus performance or engagement versus performance. When we compute the correlation, if the correlation is average say 0.5 on positive correlation or negative correlation, if there is a some medium to uh, high correlation, then only we will consider this particular variable, otherwise we may not even consider this variable. So, first thing is we need to compute the correlation between the variables like attendance versus performance or engagement versus performance etcetera. This we will do in the diagnostic analytics and um, descriptive analytics to see the data what is actually how the data looks like, is there any relation between these two data. Once we have a statement saying that uh, there is a relationship between attendance and performance also engagement performance, then we will go for the next level that is predictive analytics. Or you might have a very fine grain data such as not just the performance instead the students performance in a each questions. For that you might have a data of what is the difficulty level of the questions or what is the topic covered. So, you might be asking uh, questions related to a topic you covered in the class or are you reusing the questions because the students might have a questions uh, borrowed from the seniors or from the last year exam papers or are you reusing the questions. Students might have prepared those questions and they might do better even though they do not understand the concept. So, you can consider these factors to predict the students performance or simply we will start with the engagement or attendance in the class. From this data we develop the model, then we extend the model or extrapolate the model to predict the future events that is predictive analytics. Let us talk about one such predictive analytics algorithm or algorithm or a ML algorithm to predict a future events. The basic and very simple one is linear regression. Linear regression gives you intuition that how it is related, how the performance is related to attendance or engagement. And it is easy to understand, also it gives you the uh, intuitive uh, weight between two different variables in a linear regression. We will talk about this, the variables and the performance in detail in this LED. Consider given a data set X and Y. Uh, X can be uh, attendance, Y can be uh, performance. So, we want to predict students performance from the attendance. If we have a single independent variable, independent variable here is uh, the attendance and dependent variable is performance because performance depends on some other variable. The performance is depending, performance might change based on the other variable, so dependent variable or the target variable. So, you might consider that the attendance and performance then we have to come up with the linear regression model and identify what is the relationship between these two variables. 
the basic assumption is there is a linear relationship between independent variable and dependent variable that is attendance and performance. How do you establish this basic assumption? You simply plot them. When you plot them there is a correlation then you can say there is a linear relationship. If the plot looks like a fully scattered dots then you can understand there is no correlation then the data may not be used for a linear regression. You might need to use the some other algorithms. Regression analysis analyze the relationship between dependent and independent variable to create the linear regression model. Let us start with the simple linear regression model. In simple linear regression model we consider one independent variable and one dependent variable. The generic formula for simple linear regression model is equal is given here y equal to w x plus c. It is y equal to m x plus c we draw a slope in a, in a graph in a class 6 or class 7. In y is the performance you are predicting and w is the weight associated with the x, x is the attendance and c is the intercept and w indicates the slope of this line. Let us consider we have a 6 students data, 6 students attendance and their performance. Like uh, now we can say the data is x i y i for a student 1, what is the student 1's uh, attendance percentage say 80 percent, 60 percent, what is the student's performance. Similarly for 6 students you have pair of data, 6 pair of data. In a linear regression the goal is to find the linear relationship that best fits the line for this data. Let us look at the data. In this linear regression there are 6 students data like a 20 is attendance percentage, the mark out of 100 is 30. For attendance percentage 40 the mark out is 45. Similarly for the other data we have a marks out of the attendance percentage. Uh, students now from this data we can see the student who attend the class regularly scored good, good in exams. This is just by plotting the data in a scatter plot. Now you can see there is a relationship when the attendance percentage increases the marks also increases. If there is a linear relationship you can see then you can apply the linear regression model for this particular data. Let us try to fit a line for this particular data. So, we are trying to fit a line say there is a line which tries to fit uh, almost all the data here and uh, this data this line has an intercept value say 15 here and there is a slope uh, is there and uh, this line looks good. So, is this linear model correct? How do you verify it? How do you validate it? Please think about it and write your answer in a paper. After completing your task, please resume the video to continue. So, which model is correct? Here we have two, two lines that is fitting this particular data, the red and the blue one. So, which one is correct? Let us do the linear regression calculation. In order to identify the best fit line, we need to compute the least square method. Least square method is very simple, it is nothing but comparing the observed value that is the line fit value into the original value. For example, if I have drawn this particular line, here are the 6 data. If you look at the data at uh, attendance percentage is equal to 20, the mark is almost equal to 35. For given this line, the linear regression model, for attendance percentage of 20, the student is expected to get a pass percentage, pass mark of or the performance is 35. However, we know that from the picture for from the data, we know that for the attendance percentage is, is equal to 20, the marks out of 100 is only 30. But this particular model uh, predicts for attendance percentage equal to 20, we will have 35. So, that predicted mark is 35 minus the actual mark that is 30. Uh, this difference is 5 and we are squaring it. The squaring it just because sometimes the predicted mark will be lower than the actual mark. In order to address the uh, lower mark or higher mark, we just want to find the difference and square it. So, that we will have a difference squared that is called least square method. This 25. If you sum up 
all this least error at each point x1, x2, x3, x4, x6, then you will have some of these values, it gives the least square value. If there are 2 or 3 lines fitting this particular linear regression model, you need to select the line which has the least error. For example, this particular line the least the error value at x1 is equal to 25, similarly you have to compute for x2 and x3, x4, xy and xx. Then you have to add everything, sum of all these values computed for this particular model, linear regression models error value. Similarly, you can draw other lines then compute the error value for the each linear model. However, the mathematical formula to do this is not like this. Instead of computing um, standard deviation and uh, other methods like how to calculate the intercept, there is a detailed mathematical description how to compute this. But in this course, we are not going to discuss that. The basic abstract idea is that in order to find the best fit, you need to find a least square error. This is the basic concept for linear regression. And uh, you can compute a linear regression in a uh, existing software like uh, Excel. Microsoft Excel and uh, we just uh, use the same data and uh, we calculated the uh, linear regression model uh, y is equal to 0 0.7794 that is uh, the weight of this particular um, the slope of this line uh, into the x value plus 12.40 12.4 will be the intercept if they extend the line here it might here it may come here to 12.402. The intercept also decides where the slope is based on and the linear regression coefficient is equal to point um, the, and the linear regression coefficient is 0.9515. So, it indicates there is a very strong correlation between attendance and the performance. As um, you might know that this data is not actual data, we just populated this data to show the linear regression. In one of the LBDs in this week, we might give you other data of uh, students and we might ask you to use the Excel to create a linear regression model to get to the answer 30 how to use the Excel for the linear regression. The next topic, the next topic is multiple linear regression. Sometimes the dependent variable performance might have depend on multiple independent variables. For example, performance uh, depends on engagement also in the class also the attendance. The engagement can be collected from students engagement in the class or the engagement in the LMS like Moodle or Blackboard. So, we will have multiple independent variables performance is dependent variable and engagement and attendance is the independent variable. So, the generic equation for multiple linear regression model is given here performance is equal to uh, weight W1 into the weight is actually slope in a previous uh, generic model for simple linear regression here the weight 1 uh, into the x1 the value that is attendance value plus weight 2 and uh, engagement then intercept. We will uh, train the model to learn these weights from the existing data. The weights values will be learned and also the intercept value will be learned from the existing data the historical data. Then we will apply this data to predict the stu students future performance in the next class or next exam. So, the xi that is uh, the xi can be more not just to performance uh, is depending only on attendance and engagement, it can also depend on multiple variables xi can be 1 to n. Uh, maybe the students uh, submission rate of assignments or the students uh, number of upwards in the discussion forum or the students uh, performance in the midterm exams a lot of factors a lot of variables can be involved. The wi actually indicates the strength of independent variable on dependent variable. So, this is a very uh, beautiful uh, feature of linear regression. It is a very very intuitive method. When you have multiple uh, independent variables like performance and in, uh, sorry like attendance and engagement, uh, we can see which weight which is more uh, strength on the um, dependent variable like performance. So, W1 indicates the strength of independent variable on dependent variable. However, the linear regression have a drawback that is it assumes the relationship between the two variables is linear and we cannot use the linear regression if the number of uh, independent variables is 
too much or more than number of uh, sample set up we have. So, if the number of independent variables is really high you might need to consider some other uh, algorithms. Thank you.